All right, Pat. Uh, I, I read a tweet that you were going to go 184 at the conference. Now you're at 197 in the NCAA quarterfinals off of a sick double overhook, step around fall. Yeah. What's this journey been like in the last three weeks for you? Oh man, it's been it's been a roller coaster, you know, just emotions of every spectrum. But I can't be happier with the way it's going, you know. Coach and I thought it was best for me to go 97, best for the team. Me not being able nutrition down all year, having some injuries and eligibility issues where our 84 pound already being a qualifier, it was just, it was the best move and uh, just trying to keep it rolling. Looking at, uh, you know, JUCO National Champ last year. Yes, sir. Okay, then you go, you moved to Ames, now you're at Iowa State. Okay. okay. 84 was kind of playing all year, you get eligible. Okay, now you're on the biggest stage. You're Madison Square Garden. What's Madison Square Garden? Is it? All it's, uh, you know, is it all that and bag of chips? I guess what everybody says. Yeah, man, it's all it's it's all it's cracked out to be. It's a, uh, it's unreal. Words can't put it into, uh, you know, words can't explain it. What what you feel going through that tunnel and, I mean, you feel like a gladiator or something. All these people and, you know, being from Maryland, nobody gives a hoot about wrestling. So, me to wrestling on a stage like this for Iowa State and the fans, it's a, uh, you know, I'm living my dream. It's unbelievable. So, couldn't be happier. Pat, can you walk us through how you got the fall? What what opened up, what presented itself there? Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, that's my action. So um, when I'm up there, upper body, I'm looking for stuff like that, whether it's outside step, inside trip. You know, that was a little judo throw. So I got a, I got a lot of stuff I can do from up there. And uh, it's hard to get it earlier in the matches because these guys, you know, every, my matches are out there, and they got a good idea of what I'm trying to do up top there. So, you know, they're pushing my hips away, not really trying to wrestle with me up there. But, you know, as the match goes on and you're in a scramble like that, as Coach said, you just got to create wrestling positions. So, I mean, we're off a little flurry. I get my one. Boom, I see that. I see he's on a seatbelt there. I'm really not trying to go another overtime. So, I went for it, and uh, it worked out. Coach KJ, you know, he gave you, a, I don't know how many different institutions you've been at. You're at Iowa Central, I think Nebraska. I started in Nebraska, Nebraska, Iowa Central, now I'm here. Well, Olympic Training Center. That was before Nebraska, you yes, had, You've been everywhere. It's been quite the journey for you. What's this been like for him to take a chance on you, get uh -huh. you eligible, and now you're here, you know, vying for a chance at the NCAA Finals at Madison Square Garden. Yes, sir. Um, you know, I couldn't be happier. You know, I couldn't, words can't put it into, into what it's really like wrestling for Coach Jackson. I mean... You know, he's one of the greatest of our country, he's the greatest in the world. So, you know, when he gave me this opportunity, I not only made a promise to him, myself, and my family, but, you know, I really I really just bought in, as they say, all in here at Iowa State. And, you know, I've been living right, doing everything right, getting in extra workouts with, with Kyvin and Duran and Gibson. You know, we got great senior level training partners. And uh, I really believe in Coach Jackson, more so than probably any other coach. I've, you know, I guess it's kind of cliche to say you have trust issues, but... I, I have all my trust and faith in Coach Jackson and what he's teaching. You know, I believe in my shape, I believe in my conditioning, and I believe in my techniques and my and my uh, my actions. So, uh, you know, wrestling for Coach Jackson, I feel like it's taking me to that next level. You know, not only in, in my confidence and my belief in myself, but in my wrestling. I'm I'm a lot better than I used to be. Did you think you'd get this chance maybe a, a year ago or or so? You know, it was it was a. Uh, even a few months ago, it was up in the air, you know, D1 to go back to D1 transfer rules, having to pass 19 credits just to get eligible, you know, having a fractured rib cartilage. I mean, the, the adversity has been unreal, but, you know, that's what makes this this much sweeter, you know. Even though I worked hard for it and, and in my heart of hearts felt like I deserved this this chance and this opportunity to be on the D1 scene, you, know, you never really know if you're going to get it. And uh, the fact that I got it, I plan on taking full advantage of it. Is there an app I can get to decode your tweets? Uh, I, I follow you on Twitter. Is there an app I can get to decode those tweets or decipher them somehow? Uh, you know, just, I don't know if there's an app for my mind, but uh, I'm glad you're following and, you're, and you're, you must be liking some of the stuff. Oh, yeah, I like it all the time. There you go. So, you know, just, uh, you know, just, just uh, stay along for the ride. You having fun? Love it. So much fun. It's my, I'm living my dream, man. I love it. Feel like there's a little bit of a chip on your shoulder. Do you got something to prove, or? Oh, I mean, yeah. Every time I put on a singlet, there's something to prove. You know, you know. Um, I got last seed at the Big 12s. You know, just knocked off the 11th seed and the, the sixth seed, I believe. You know, I'm just gonna keep it rolling. Every time I step out on that mat, there's something to prove. So definitely, you know, you can call a chip on your shoulder, call it what you want. I just like to, uh, you know, call it good wrestling. I'm just trying to wrestle to my best potential, and 
you know, I don't really think there's a chip on my shoulder, but uh, I like winning. I, I'm gonna keep doing that. Hey Pat, do you have far tomorrow? What's that? Do you have Brett Far tomorrow? Is that who you have in the quarters? In uh, Minnesota, do you know? I don't know. I couldn't tell you. Uh, if the seeds plan out the way they're supposed to be, that's, that should be who who I have. But you know, like they say, it's crazy. You never know what's happening out there. I'm pretty focused on my match. I just got done wrestling, so I really couldn't tell you yet. If it's him, what what did you learn from the last go round against them? That was one of your first matches at '97, I think. <coughs> yeah, I had plan I waited in an '84 on that match, yeah. so so uh, I'm not gonna be the same Pat Downey that we wrestled, but. I'm sure he's pretty uh, confident and uh, happy, and he should be proud of himself for the way he beat me. But uh, that's not going to happen again. What do you got to do to get ready for tomorrow? Uh, I'm just going to enjoy this right now. I'm going to fuel up, get some nutrition in me, cutting weight. That's not really a problem. So I'm going I'm to eat up, get big, you know, take my mom and little sister out to dinner, have a good time with them, and just enjoy New York for the night and uh, wake up and do what I do, you know.